Hey, so I'm jumping on real quick and decided to do an ink project for you all. I had mentioned that I was going to start another trilogy and this time I'm doing it with one transfer three different ways. And so a lot of you have questions about inking. There was an oopsie on this week's inking project that we did, just the design had um, too many intricate lines in it, so I wasn't really quite happy with the way it came out. So I was trying to think of a third way to do this transfer, and I was like, let's ink a shirt. So I'm gonna show you how I ink another piece of garment, and then um, I'm gonna go live and complete two other projects using the same transfer. Fun! Um, I, I think I'm the only one doing these trilogies and I'm having so much fun doing them. So, the transfer we're going to use is the Ice Skate Rental. I have not used this before. And those who have been waiting on it, I actually just posted minutes ago, it's back in stock. When I show you the other ways I'm gonna do this, I think you're gonna want one of these if you're not into making your own tees or jackets or, this actually would look really cute on a pillow too. So I'm gonna show you my take on the t-shirt and then over the course of the next couple of days, we'll do two other projects with it. Okay, all right, let's get going, fun. So, of course, the first thing you want to do with your tea is make sure all the wrinkles are out. Um, if you're wondering, I actually got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, they had several colors. Again, I am not one of those that run out to Hobby Lobby to purchase garments, but these are... This uh, particular brand, which I buy for my girls anyways, is um, Comfort Colors, I believe. Yep, Comfort Colors. So I know it's a good tea. And they had many colors. So the first thing I want to do is get our ink mat and go ahead and put our ink mat in between. And this mat is awesome for holding your garment in place. And I'm going to work a little slower than I normally do just because it is a video and you can speed it up or fast forward at any time. So when you are working with the ink mat, of course, you want to make sure you get all the wrinkles out. I'm not coming this far down, so I'm not so worried about it. So on a typical t-shirt, you are going to want to be about three inches below the neckline. Okay, I am short. And I think this is a unisex tee, so it kind of fits different anyways. So I'm actually on this particular garment. I'm going to go ahead and do it just about four inches. So I'm just going to mark off with our placement tape. This is our placement tape if you haven't gotten any yet. It's awesome. You've seen me work with it before. So I am going to go ahead and Mark it off just at about four inches. Of course, you, deci you decide where you like your clip off placed. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to do this at four for me right now because it is a larger, you know, it's not just one word. It's a larger area that's going to be printed. So I want it to come down a little bit longer as well. Okay, because this is a brand new transfer, 
and so very sticky. We would normally go ahead and fuzz this or get some lint behind it with our fuzzing cloth. I am not going to do that because I really do want as much stick to this as I can get. So I am going to go ahead and try to center this just by eyeing it. Again, feel free to get your rulers out, your laser rulers. Um, I typically will go ahead and just eye everything and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. With ink, you really wanna make sure it's even where you want it because of course, you can't wash it off like chalk. The one thing I wanna do is find The middle of this transfer is right in the middle of the case, so that actually worked out well. Okay, I'm going with a winter theme, and I believe that's what I'm going to do with my other two projects. Although, again, I haven't really worked the other two projects out. But I'm just going to go ahead and do this whole design in white. Just like chalk, you want to get out any air bubble, especially when you're doing ink. Because again, if you make a mistake, that's not gonna work out well for you. Okay, so we got the air bubbles out of that. And it's got a really good stick on it because again, it is a brand new transfer. And we'll go ahead and use our white ink. So just like the paste, I don't open my paste or ink on top of the project. I don't want to get any particles on it. Our ink, you do not need to add water to it. It is not going to be that cake batter consistency like we like with our chalk. But you do want to go ahead and mix it up. That's just, I like to mix it up. I, I, you know, I don't think it's, it's not written in stone anywhere, but that's just me. Okay, so we've got our tea. We've got our ink mat, and I do use our, the Chalk Couture ink mats. I love them. Um, we have our transfer. I did not put any extra lint on the back because I want it to stick really well. Decided on an ink. Now, I was going to actually do this in silver and white, but I have decided I'm going to go totally white with it. I'm going to make it easy. Um, at first, I was going to do sil I was just going to do white skates and everything else silver, which I think would be so beautiful. But I am just going to go ahead, I changed my mind, and I'm just going to go ahead and do it white. Again, with ink, you do not need to be in a rush like you are with the paste. It does not dry as quick. It actually doesn't really dry at all. Um, Watch how much, you don't want to put so much extra where it's globbed. And then, just like the paste, you are going to push it through the silk screen. Uh, I have mentioned previous that when I use ink, I really do like to go in one direction. Make sure you're not going off the transfer. It's not chalkboard, you're not going to be able to wash it up. If you go in the same direction, then you have cleaner lines. Again, the ink is just so much different than the paste. 
I find the ink to be easier to use than the paste. You just have to be more careful with it. So if you noticed, I, I'm not rushing like I normally would with the chalk. So I am going to squeegee up the excess. Make sure I've gotten all that open mesh covered. And it looks pretty good to me. You want before you pull up that transfer, please make sure you have nothing on your fingers. You could be so careful doing this and then go to pull up and you could have ink on your fingers and then you're gonna get ink on your garment. Okay. And look how beautiful. Let me throw this in water. When you're working with ink, when you're working with ink, you want to make sure that you wash the transfer as quick as possible. Again, ink is permanent, okay? So because the ink is permanent, um, it will dry that way on your transfer. So unlike the paste where it's water soluble, that's not the case with the ink. So with ink, as soon as you're done with the transfer, you wanna get it in your water bath and you wanna wash it right away, okay? So, this is our new garment. What do you think? Looks pretty nice, huh? Okay, I'm gonna take the blow dryer and just cool it off. Normally, I would go ahead and let this set for a good 24 hours before I did the heat press to it. You're going to see a lot of openings on this transfer because it does have that vintage vibe to it. So don't think that there's mistakes here. It's really the way that the transfer is made. So this really, obviously it's still tacky. I am gonna set my heat press. So on, on my heat press, I do 
350 degrees for 30 seconds each side. Again, you don't have to go out and buy a heat press. Before I had one, I used to use irons. Um, if you're going to use your iron, then I suggest doing 400, or as high as you can get it, as high as you can get your iron, four minutes on each side. Again, I would use um, parchment paper or Teflon. I use Teflon. Um, you don't want to use wax paper because that will melt. Okay, let's see how this is going to come out. So go ahead and take the ink mat out. Again, you do not want to do this if this is really wet, okay? So give it some time. I've mentioned this before. I'll go ahead and get a wet wipe and, and wash this every so often. It looks filthy. It's because of lint and threads and ink that may have gone through. This stays sticky. It's really, this is the only one I've ever bought in this size and use. Actually, let me take that back. We have two sizes and I have bought two in each size because I keep one of each size whole and then I cut into pieces the other ones and I use those for um, baby onesies, you know, weird shapes, um, maybe if I have to add a piece, but this one I have kept whole and I have used it since day one and it's still super sticky. So, um, this is just, alright, so I do have a Cricut heat press, this is just a mat, like I said, if you were using your iron, that would be fine. I'm actually going to put this in just because I don't want the ink to go through on the back of the shirt. this doesn't have to be even because I'm just ironing it. So Teflon, this is the only sheet I've ever used. I've never had to get another piece out. And I'm just going to go ahead and do 30 seconds on each side. You don't want to, oh, sorry guys. You don't want to um, move it like an iron because if this is still wet, which it is still a little tacky, you know, you'll be ruining it. So you're better off just leaving it for your 30 seconds or your four minutes. You know, you definitely want to be, do this. You just do not want to be stroking your iron or your heat press. I'm just going to do it 30 more seconds on this side because I did move it. It's just a little bit big for the one area. So you do not want this motion just up and down. One side and I am going to go ahead and do the inside as well.
So again, if your heat press covers the whole area, it's been just 30 seconds. If not, just do it a couple of times. So I'm not sure if this is a staple that they have at Hobby Lobby all the time or it was just a fluke that they had when I was looking at it. And I actually did get it online. So you might want to try it online. But I actually have an account with this company. So I might look into other colors. Okay, my friends, this is ready to go in the wash. <laughs> what do you think? So, think about all the transfers we have. Um, you can do the turkey for Thanksgiving, but think about all the holiday ones we have. And this is super easy, super easy. Like I said, it, I find it easier to work with the ink versus the chalk because it is uh, more forgiving. You have more time, you don't have to rush. It doesn't dry out like the chalk does or it doesn't dry fast like the chalk does. But the one thing you do have to remember is if you make a mistake, have a bottle of alcohol with you, Q-tips. If it's a little oopsie, you can usually get it right away. But if you don't see it, if it's something you've missed, then it could be on there for a long time. And just remember, when you put the transfer down and when you start inking, sorry, when you put the transfer down and you start inking, make sure you do not go off the transfer because that's what will cause big problems. All right, so here we go. It's kind of big, it's unisex. Oh, and you know what else? Guys, if you've always debated on where to put a transfer, if you've ever done ions, vinyls, anything, HTV, anything like that, um, with our transfers, you can actually put your garment on and put the transfer on where you want it to be. So you don't have to guess, do I want to go two inches down, three inches down, four inches down. Put the transfer on and look at it in the mirror and see where you like it. Alrighty, I think that's it. Fenway, you want to come say hi? Come here. Come here. My dog's wondering who I've been talking to. All right. Love you all. Happy Halloween. Obviously, I'm not going to go live um, tonight. Um, have fun passing out candy. If you have littles, have fun with your littles. Um, I do miss those days. So um, comment with any questions you may have. Again, I just used our bright white. Is it bright white? Bright white ink. Some, we used to have just white. Bright white ink. Um, easy as that. Okay? Love you all. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.